Hi there, and welcome to these BFD Eco Micro Tutorials. In these, we're going to spend about an hour in total using some very quick sessions to get you from starter right up to power user. And we hope that these are going to be really helpful in getting you right into BFD Eco and right under the hood. So we're going to be looking at the kit, the channels, the grooves, the setting up before you even start using it. Then we're going to look at using it in other pieces of software as well, like Pro Tools and GarageBand. We're going to talk about exporting the audio and bringing that in. And in about an hour, you should know your way around BFD Eco and then be making great music. So here we go. First session, I want to get right under the hood. And before we do anything, what I'd recommend you do is you come to this drop down here and you go to BFD Eco Default Starter Preset and you select that. And that will load in a kit, some channels and some grooves. So straight away, you can start playing around and start trying out the unit. So the second thing you need to do to make sure that everything's going to be cool, you want to come up here, you want to go to I.O. settings and you want to check two things. The first one to check is audio devices. And if you can't hear any sound, it may be because you haven't got this selected correctly. Now, this is where you can select any audio device that your computer's currently got set up. I'm on a Mac and I'm going to be using my built in line output for this, but I could be using all these other ones. I've got a M Audio Fast Track Ultra connected as well. I can use that. So you need to choose the one that you know the audio is coming out. So you've got your speakers going out the back of your computer. You'd use built-in line output. The second thing you want to check as well, especially if you're going to be using MIDI, is that you've got these all selected as well. And I'm using a little M Audio Keystation Mini today to play this, so I can hit it and hear things. Sure, those are on. And then you should be ready to go. And if you've loaded in the default startup preset, then you should have it set of sounds and even some grooves. So if you hit the space bar then you're ready to rock. So there we are. That's the startup. That's how you make sure everything's ready to roll. And in the next session we'll be looking over the interface and I'll show you where everything is located. Thanks for watching.